don't know. Sometime in March, we're close to April, and I know that because WrestleCon is this weekend, which if you're watching this, this is, it's already happened, but I will be there at the Demon Bunny table. I'm very excited. Um, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina today, and I just got back from a walk with Serena. We went on a walk. Instead of hitting the gym, we decided to get a little bit of sunshine and go for a stroll. It was very nice. And it's dynamite tonight. I have a big match. Um, but I feel good. I feel good, ready for the day, ready for the show, ready for the match. So I'm gonna do my best to take you along on my day. We'll see how much footage I can get. We're gonna try. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you the outfit of the day in three, two, one. All right, the outfit of the day is gym clothes today. Okay, we went with gym clothes. We have a match, so I wanted to feel like I was ready so we're in gym clothes today. Okay, uh, this is a set from, I wanna say I found this at a thrift store. I'm almost 100% sure. I love, I love buying my clothes from thrift stores, so this was a nice find. Um, okay, uh, Little Rooms, Hey Harlow, all the necklaces, they have not tarnished, so we're into it. Bought this ring also from a thrift store. It's a tiny cat. Um, got the chucks, and uh, feeling good. Heading to the building right now. We'll see you there. Hi, friends. Uh, I'm here with the one and only Blade. Hi, <laughs> uh, so we didn't do a horror review last week, and there was a good reason for that. And I'm going to now expose your head on camera. Do you see that? You, it, it actually looks so much better. Yeah, it looked way worse. But he got staples in his head thanks to Jeff Harney. <laughs> Looks like Frankenstein it's now. It's very Frankenstein. Loved that it was Frankenstein-esque. <laughs> okay, so we're doing horror reviews right now. Um, I'm going to go first. And then you can go. Okay. Okay. So we recently watched a movie called Where? W-E-R. Recommended from a friend of ours who's also a big horror fan. Um, it is a werewolf movie. There's a lot of found footage, there's news footage. It's a very creative take on a werewolf yeah, movie. Yeah, that's what I liked about it was it was like uh, it was it was different from most werewolf movies. Um it was a really fun werewolf movie. We've been on a bit of a werewolf kick. We were. Recently yeah. we yeah, watched yeah. um uh what, what was, was the, what was the other one that we watched? <sighs> Which was the one I hope this isn't a spoiler alert. Um Remember the guy, like, he would chain himself up? Yeah, uh, oh, it came out in 1995. I wanted to say about that one, I was very impressed with myself because my favorite movie of all time is the original Predator. And not where, the other one that we were talking about, the earlier one, obviously had, whoever made it, there's very big, like, Predator influence. Oh, like that's the, right. the background, I first noticed it with, like, the background music. I was like, this sounds like, this sounds like Predator. Yeah. And then they had, they had a lot of, like, throwback scenes, like, uh, somebody got spooked a, a bunch of birds flew out and someone yeah. got spooked they look up and there was bodies hanging like and there was there was a couple of it they did a couple throwbacks to predator which was really cool we do have to talk about a new movie that came out on netflix we had very high hopes for it mm -hmm. and it is the texas chainsaw massacre and it, the idea is it's technically supposed to be a direct like, sequel yeah like kind of like halloween's been doing it like, yes this one's supposed to be a direct sequel to the first one but i mean yes the first one's in like the 70s and 74 this one's, like this one's like present day that's right so it's been however many years later i'm not going to do the math <laughs> um and we are back in uh leatherface's stomping grounds and i don't want to spoil it because it is a newer movie but i did want to hear your thoughts on the new Texas Chainsaw. Like my thoughts yeah. are, my opinion, I, I really liked it. I yeah. thought it was really fun. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, that it's exactly what people told me. Like the plot is like so-so, the, the kills are insane. Like the, the first one right off the bat is just like, holy shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, kills are great. Uh, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. I always feel like I need to say like, for the people that, that don't like it, I, you know, like, uh, like purists or whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, I could, I could see why, but I, the way I look at it is, I mean, this is at this point, you're talking about like Texas Chainsaw Massacre part 11, probably. And it's, you know, they just, they can't make, keep making the same movie. This one's, uh, this one's, it's more, definitely more modern. I, I think of yeah. it like, if you liked the new Halloween kills, 
you will like this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you didn't like the new Halloween Kills, you probably won't like this one. This I new agree. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I, I really liked it. I enjoyed it, it. I thought it was fun. Um, I thought the kills were insane. There's one specific scene. If you've watched it, you know what we're talking about. There's a school bus involved or a bus involved. It is crazy. Yeah. I enjoyed it and it's short. I mean, it's, it's I, I think it's, it's like an hour and, an hour and a half. It's a really easy watch. And uh, well, I mean, yeah. I, I honestly do think there's a chance we'd read a review like this. I, I do think there was a chance they did this kind of stuff on purpose. Like, right. I mean, some of the plot holes in the movie are so like- Glaring. Yeah, but yeah. they're like, they're, they're funny. Yeah. The 1974 Texas Chainsaw is a fantastic slasher and it's not even that gory if you've watched it. It's really not gory. A lot of it is your imagination. It's sounds, they did, they, they used sounds and the, the score and lighting and all those things to really give you this terrifying feeling watching the film yeah, it's just different. different it's just different yeah and um i like the new texas chainsaw i understand why some people might not but i thought it was fun same here exact same thing this was a fun horror review <laughs> uh if you guys want to see more horror movie reviews please comment below we love to read them i read all your comments and i have to tell you blade a lot of people were saying we're asking my last video why weren't there any horror reviews ah. so we got to keep them coming okay yeah if you guys like i mean i like doing this so if you guys like it let us know and we'll keep doing it i think it's a lot of fun i was talking to dan Housen last tv and i said well what's your favorite horror movie and he said an American Werewolf in London, and I lost my shit because it's one of my favorite movies ever. It's so, I think it's the best werewolf movie. And the, we, we just went and saw it on. We saw it at, uh, at the screening room, the screening in, room Buffalo. in Buffalo. We saw yeah. it like in a theater, but that was, I, I had just seen it all the way through for the first time like less than a year ago. It's great. It's, it's the, I think that and The Howling, two of the best werewolf movies ever. Yeah. If I could remember the name of that movie we watched, Bad Moon? Mm. I think it was Bad Moon. Maybe. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Okay. All right. We have to go to work now. So thanks for watching and yeah. Bye. Thanks guys. <laughs> Hi friends. Sorry. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. <clears throat> How's the patch? You know, I can't see anything. Oh my God. See, this is why I asked you to do it because yeah. I feel like you need a little Oreo in your life because Oreo I makes do. everything better, you I know? Do. Yeah. And I love Oreos and I haven't had one probably like, I don't even know unless I had Oreo. Disgusting. These are the hop Oreos. I feel like it's very fitting. <laughs> Me being a rabbit. Um, they really made it for you. I think they did. Oreo was like, that bunny on AEW, she sure loves Oreos. <laughs> We're gonna make one just for her with green food coloring. <laughs> mm. This is a regular ass Oreo, but it has green food coloring for Easter. Nice. Like moss, I guess. Nice. And Do you celebrate Easter? I celebrate yeah. eating. <laughs> it's so great eating. Yeah. You know, do you? Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, did, I didn't go to like church this year though. And Are you gonna have God dinner bless. and stuff? Maybe. God bless. Hey, but God bless. God bless, God bless God everybody. Bless. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> Are you okay? Is this one of these moments? Not like a regular Oreo. I look at that smaller peel. Hold on, ready? Three, two, one. Open, okay. So there's criteria to trying Oreos on the channel. First, okay. we gotta smell them. Take a whiff. It smells like an Oreo. It smells a little minty. It, oh, maybe they are mint. Okay, interesting. Which, I don't know if that's really Easter vibes, but. It's not at all. But, um, okay, so cream to cookie ratio. Pretty thick, I'd say. Um, yours is. Yeah, mine's thick. Yours is a little sad. <laughs> Um, Someone wasn't on the job when they made this one. <laughs> They knew that you were going to have trouble seeing and they're like, we're going to give her a shitty ass Oreo. <laughs> uh, let's cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, let's take a bite. It's not mint. Dude, this is regular Oreo. Yeah, it's regular Oreo. <laughs> but I usually don't like food coloring and this isn't bad at all. You can't even taste it. No, I just, I just need some milk. A little almond milk, a little soy milk. Mm -hmm. Dip it in there. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm gonna give it a four. It's okay. It's fine. It's an Oreo. I'll give it a five just because it's like Oreo. Really? You don't you don't uh, you don't mind the food coloring? No, I just wish it was a little okay, maybe like a four point. I just wish it was a little more uh, stuff, thicker stuffing. Yeah, thicker, thicker. I like the double stuff. Me too. Trip uh mega stuff. In the fridge. Wow. So good. <laughs> it's easily my favorite Oreo. I don't know if I've ever had a mega one. You should. <laughs> Is there more sugar? Is oh yeah. It's the, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, we're not counting calories if we're eating more. Of course. Oreos. Come on. It, it honestly is so thick. It's like three of these. Mm -hmm. Then the most stuff is like four of them. In the fridge, you take them out, the icing's cold. Oh my God, mm. chef's kiss. How often do you eat Oreos? 
not as often as I wish I could. Mm. I can't. Yeah, I've had Oreo and I don't even know how long. I because if, here's a problem when I eat them, <laughs> I eat them like chips. Mm. Like yeah. I'll just, it's not like a ooh this tastes good I'll have one. It's oh this tastes good I'll have twelve. Yeah, and you, you know. Binge it and then you're like oh Jesus. And then I'm like I have to wear spandex. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you for well, being on my channel. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, keep eating them. Eat them, no, eat them all for us. I'm just eating all of them. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah, great, great. I'm so glad to be on. I haven't eaten today, so I'm like... I know. I have to I have to share with Mark Henry, too. I told him that I brought Oreos, so... Yeah, we'll give him one. I'm going to give him lots of them. And Dustin will probably steal a whole row. This is my last one. <laughs> this is my last one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go out into your chest. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey, do me a favor and stop barking. Where's the camera? It's up there, it's up in the corner. Ah, today is a really good day. It's a really big day. It's a really exciting day. <gasps> I'm doing an unboxing. Um, okay, wait, let me rewind. Let me start from the beginning. So if you follow me on social media, you know that I have been collecting the replica puppet master puppets and i posted on twitter that i purchased one from full moon direct how stinking cute is he uh for those that don't know who have maybe never seen puppet master movies this is blade and he is a replica that i got from full moon direct and he's so i'm gonna try not to say cool about a million times this this unboxing i'm gonna try He's awesome. He comes with a certificate uh, of authenticity and yeah. So, well, oh my God. Full Moon Features tweeted at me to DM them and oh my God, I'm losing it. I think I just broke my chair in excitement. They sent me a package. Okay. I feel like I should've got a bigger knife for this. All right. Before I open this box, I have to give a huge shout out to Hugo at Full Moon Features. He sent me these. Big thank you to Hugo. So excited. Okay, hold on. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Let me clear this up. One second. Look how absolutely beautiful. This is Mephisto. <gasps> He's so perfect. He's so... <sighs> He's beautiful. So I feel like if you're watching this, you've probably seen the Puppet Master movies, but if you have not, he was in Toulon's... Um, what would you call a group of puppets? Well, he was in Toulon's kit of puppets um, in Egypt. And if you look at his head, you can see that it is very similar. Hold on, let me grab Blade. Because Toulon, um, I wanna say recycled the head to create Blade. Um, so I guess they're kind of like cousins. <laughs> so real quick, I wanna show you, give you like a rundown of what he looks like. So first of all, let's look at his hands. Oh, they look so detailed. His beautiful head and his little gold horns. And I think the most impressive thing about this puppet is his outfit. He's got a little chain on him. I don't know if the camera picks it up. I guess it does. He's kind of got like um, sequins on him. He's absolutely beautiful. He's got little tiny boots on. And he is a very, very special puppet. I... I love him so much, oh my God. I can't wait to set him up on my bookshelf. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Full Moon, I love him. You're very handsome, Mephisto, I just want you to know that. You are very handsome. Okay, next one. I feel like I, oh my God, I feel like I'm geeking out so hard. Okay, if you watched my last unboxing, you know that Tundler was my absolute favorite growing up. 
I'm not entirely sure why, <laughs> but oh, he's, he's gorgeous. Look at his little boots. His outfit is, it's so detailed. And his little drill on his head that you have to be very careful of. Tundler, you're perfect. He's amazing. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm like, I lost for words. <laughs> I'm at a total loss for words. He looks awesome. I can't wait to put him on my shelf. It's hard for me to rank my favorite puppets because I honestly love them all so much for individual reasons, but he, I have a very large soft spot for him because I did love him so much when I was little. I just came in, look it. Okay, so, so yeah. So Tundler, I have, I have a huge soft spot for him because I loved him so much when I was little. Um, he has some pretty gnarly kills uh, in the movies. I just think he's, oh, he's so neat. I love it. Look, his, his eyes are black. He just, he, he's, I just adore him. I love them. This is, I, I can't, I, uh, uh, I'm losing what I'm trying to say. Okay. So a couple of things I want to say. One is. I, I talked about this on my vlog. I've talked about it on Ethan's vlog as well. Like I was never huge into collecting and I've started to, and I feel like my inner child is so happy. You know, like I, I, I don't know how to put it into words. It's just like, it's such a cool experience to relive things that you loved when you were growing up. And Puppet Master was a, you know, was a big deal to me when I was younger. And it just like blows my mind that I get to have these little puppets in my house. Like it, it's just wild to me, but um, I want to say a huge thank you to Full Moon for sending these to me. Thank you to Hugo at Full Moon for sending these to me. You have no idea. You guys have made my entire life. Uh, I'm still geeking out at the thought of Full Moon even reaching out to me. And that is just such a big deal to me. So thank you so much. If you guys want your very own puppets, your own replicas, you can get them all on the Full Moon Direct website. <laughs> And also, uh, Full Moon Features uh, have their own streaming service, Full Moon Features, um, and they literally have their whole library. So you can watch all the Puppet Master movies on there, along with everything else they make. Um, they have the subspecies movies, they have the transfers movies, they have literally everything. Um, I have it and I love it. I've been going through the library and discovering new movies and watching my old favorites. Um, but yeah, it's so cool. Okay, hold on. All right, that was another unboxing video. I hope you guys liked it. If you wanna see more unboxing, more horror, more collecting, more anything in that realm, comment below and let me know. I try to respond back to as many comments as I can. I check it periodically and try to keep in touch with you guys. So um, please do that. Let me know your thoughts. All the information for Full Moon and Full Moon Direct uh, and Full Moon Features will be in the description box below. Um, so check them out. A big thank you to them for everything. And uh, I think that's gonna conclude this vlog. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.